Okay, today we're gonna do a simple trick. Let's begin. Okay, all that coming up. Human error. Okay, let's begin. First, let's load our FBX file generated by Move One, aka Move AI, and Bond Deform. Let's see the animation. This is my mocap. This is my movement. I record that uh, as a single clip with multiple movement. You see that? Okay. By the way, we have this video. Uh, we explain all that in here and now let me show you something we have this skeleton with the animation I want to extract that first let's create motion clip we gonna uh, convert this skeleton animation to motion clip you see that this shadow pose represent the animation and this is cool one okay now let's create motion clip cycle okay that's nice we have this range but we don't have anything to preview of course let me set that you see we clamp or crop that and let's create a motion clip evaluate and convert this motion clip to skeleton and let's connect it here and we're gonna work with that you see we split this movement okay now we have this uh, motion clip let's create a motion clip ray time node this is handy node uh, it will offset this motion in uh, beginning of the timeline of course let's enable that you see now we have this movement okay we need a cycle for that we can uh, increase that here you see that that's awesome and we have this uh, motion clip cycle you see okay we have some issue here you see this transition between the end of uh, motion clip and the start we have this blending option of course uh, be careful with that but it's so handy you see uh, in general, you can uh, select uh, closest uh, poses for end and start frame, of course, with this uh, motion clip cycle. And this is so handy. You see that? Okay, let's proceed. Okay, now let's create our crowd from this uh, setup here. Of course, we can create agent and select, of course, this character rig or character set but honestly i don't have any idea by that if you have anything or know anything by this one let me know in comment section of course but now we have this uh, agent from rig of course it's need a skeleton as you can see okay now we have this uh, uh, agent of course we need the shape we will add that by agent layer and let's connect the shape here and boom we have this agent and this skeleton this is honestly good approach so we need this animation we made here of course uh, we we need a motion clip we can add that by agent clip here where are you agent clip of course the second input will go with uh, to the motion clip and let's change that to motion clip and let's we successfully name. create our and uh, agent preview that and, and voila uh, add this that? Uh, motion clip as an animation as a clip and yeah we're gonna proceed that by the way if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content let's proceed okay now let's deal with the locomotion this is a big issue with this uh, workflow you see this circle and the agent it's not the same 
if we apply the locomotion and assign this hip nothing will happen you see that that's disaster okay how we can fix that we have this handy note called extract locomotion this is honestly cool we need a skeleton instead of this motion clip of course this motion clip evaluate gives us that skeleton and let's select the hips here as an origin you see that we have this line as a motion clip of course and the rest is okay the setting is okay now let's create a motion clip again convert that and let's assign it and let's see voila that's awesome you see that i love this simple workflow i love it man okay now of course we have a, a motion clip uh, option in uh, motion clip cycle sorry locomotion option in motion clip cycle you see that let me show you with this uh, advanced example you see let's suppose we have this uh, cycle motion clip of course we have an issue here let's enable motion a clip here you see this end and the beginning of the clip it's not in the same uh, position of course we can enable this uh, orientation it will fix the problem kind of and the transition will uh, take the locomotion and create our uh, cycle clip of course you can tweak these options and yeah of course uh, we have this orientation uh, by the axis if you have any issue you can disable the component individually you see that but we have the problem of course it's better but it's not uh, fixed totally of course uh, you can go to the uh, blending we have this uh, easy in easy out interpolation of course but we don't have uh, the, uh, the problem fixed of course as you remember i said that we have this blending option but if the poses are not close enough it will cause the problem of course let me show you here we can uh, tweak the poses the beginning and the ending here you see that it's better now okay that's with the locomotion or motion clip cycle now we have this agent with the clip of course guess what you can now uh, use this playlist here we talk about crowd and create your uh, crowdsource or a ragdoll or anything with it you see with one uh, simple motion capture by move on we clone ourselves here okay let me show you the final version here of course i have this uh, <laughs> uh, mocap data you see <laughs> this is me doing goofy stuff <laughs> okay uh, and we have this uh, Mixumo character here, the soldier. Of course, I lay down a rig pose here and map the point. I linked uh, this skeleton. I'm retargeting basically. I talk about this one in this video, of course. And we have this decent movement. You see, <laughs> that's awesome. And this is a simple workflow for the retargeting. Thank you, SideFX and of course uh, after that i create motion clip and i separate uh, this movement you see that this is the running of course this is uh, i call that a dancing traditional stuff here okay oops you see that i uh, separate that after the retargeting this is the catch guys and of course uh, let me show you here this is our setting it's not fancy okay in the other hand i create this agent from rig this is the soldier of course and this is the nurse i create another agent and i merge that of course in this one if you want a fx motion clip or sorry fx clip you can extract 
the, uh, the locomotion and use the same workflow I mentioned before and of course this one the motion clip uh, it's going to the agent clip and I create this awesome movement of course after that I create this craft source driven by uh, this circle supply of course you see with random uh, state distribution and this is the scene of course it's available on my patreon and this is the dop setup if you, uh, i want to show you something here you see in state here i uh, change that from single to random distribution and uh, i randomize this eclipse of course and with this transition i use this uh, crowd state current crowd state clip of course and i will i did that with this trigger and the transition of course i uh, lay down this pop stretch path and pop stretch steers avoid for avoiding each other and yeah with that this is the result of course and you see that it's it's funny <laughs> honestly and yeah this is was a quick tip and see you in the next one. Have fun with it.